My name is Carol Mushet. I am Roshane Somers. My name is Tanya Cameron. My name is Nikisha Reynolds. My name is Jerome Swaby. Welcome to the pitching session of Vision Achiever. We're going to give you five minutes to present. So just relax. Don't worry. Just tell us about your company. Um, this is the opportunity because we don't know, right? And then from there, we'll ask you the questions. How are you conceptualizing moving from your loan to a team to being in the Caribbean? What does that journey look like? Okay, so for me, um, one of the things, obviously, I'm going to need additional resources. So first and foremost, I'm going to need another artist. I want to train them in the style, train them in, in, in how I deliver my paint and sip, and do more of the speaking and the art making instead of you know, doing behind the scene um, administration, maintaining the social media. What it is you're seeking from the Vision Achievers program and how that will assist your business? Okay, well I am the embodiment of, of why we need to have more assistance because I have, um, I personally have never been in the, in the business side. I think we are growing, uh, we have a lot of plans as, as I'd mentioned, and I think the more uh, we can gain from something like your program, the better. So how have you been able to maintain the consistency across? Because a lot of companies can't tend to... <laughs> can't tell me. <laughs> can't tell you that. That's our secret. No. Oh. Okay. How? Yes. Because we've hired people who have 100% bought into being, wanting to be the best. And so we try to catch things. If we see something going up, we try to catch it. We try to keep fresh, we try to keep creative, we try to keep a, on a very high standard. I so said you have some accounting in your family, but um, you have no personnel on your team? No. No accountant on your team? No accountant on your team. I love to have one because it's, it's a little demanding to keep up with all the invoices and so the current structure is you are the head yes. and then what are the other like managers? Yeah, supervisors, 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 which is mainly sales. Then, yes, mainly. So mainly which, which other departments you don't have like any like operations? Or no. Not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. This is what I'm heading to. Okay. okay. So your customers come to you, is it a storefront kind of operation or is it more word of mouth? It, it really proves to the quality work and the type of customer experience that our customers have because we do zero marketing. Besides, besides um, our social media pages, that's it. We, we, we hardly ever run ads. All right, so most, majority, 90% of our customers, they're about, we get them through word of mouth because our customers really do love our work. You know, pharmacy, because you do everything. You do, right, where is, where, what is your cash cow? Which part of the business gives you money? Well, our profit center is really the, the prescription area. Right. But for our wellness center, we do carry we have a royal home and things like that, because that particular location is 8,000 square feet. And there's a little room that we have allocated for our nutritionist who's, who's seen um, by appointment, and we right. have a spa. Because, of course, we are taking care of the it's whole man. Yes. Okay. So that particular, our main, our real profit center is there, but we do realize profits from these other areas as well. How come you're not here in one of your designs? You know, that is what I know you were going to ask. Mm -hmm. That's why I wear the shirt. So this is basically what I'm saying. You can have your nice suit with a little African touch to it. We okay, already so have the presentation showing all about the whole, you know, garbs and the whole what African clothing will look like. So I intentionally dress, you know, to show that, you know. Because most persons are, um, associate African clothing with just traditional look or whatever. But what I'm saying, you can incorporate your suit. Let me tell you, if you're, if you're pitching a business like this, Walk in with the box. Yes. <laughs> because yes. when you think of bread pudding, you think of bread Just pudding made from loaf. steel bread and mm. it cut in a little square right. and as one there, you know. But like you see this, <laughs> you see this, this is not bread pudding. <laughs> this is not bread pudding, I think bread no, pudding. No, this is not normal yeah. looking bread pudding. So and we deliberately did the flavours like that and in units. Because again, we want to come away from just a regular loaf and one flavor that everybody knows, which is the rum and raisin. So, the bread so pudding. which one is it that actually um, goes sell the fastest of the flavors? <laughs> That's so hard. Okay, so the chocolate chip. Have you written down the recipes for the different? Oh yes. You have it. Oh yes, I'm just okay. talk, right. talk, talk, talk away. <laughs> okay, all right. That's fine. 